Prince William has been praised for standing his ground after it was reported the Duke of Cambridge threatened not to take part in a key royal event if Prince Andrew was also present. Royal fans have said it was, about time, a member of the firm did the right thing, about disgraced Prince Andrew after his reputation was severely tarnished by his involvement in a civil sexual assault case. It comes after the Duke of York was forced to remain out of sight during the Garter Day procession after a family decision was taken to limit his appearance to a behind-the-scenes lunch and investiture ceremony. Prince William and his father Prince Charles are understood to have lobbied the Queen about Andrew's participation in Garter Day, which featured the church service, an investiture for new members of the order and a lunch. The decision exposed the internal struggle between senior members of the royal family and the Duke's reported desire to be reinstated as a working royal. But royal fans took to Twitter to praise Prince William, saying he was absolutely right to hold his line. Canella Citadel tweeted, It is about time that Prince William stands his ground and stop being taken for granted. While he is focusing on walking the straight and narrow, the rest of the family is busy coddling the ex-spares. Well, you can choose then. He doesn't have to suffer these clowns. Well done. John Oond 1953 posted, Good for Prince William, at least he has some scruples. Prince Andrew needs to get stuffed, not many folks want him in any kind of royal position. Kayla S. Karnika said, Very proud of Prince William for standing his ground on the Prince Andrew comeback. Michelle tweeted good. Andrew deserved to be banished from public life and Prince William is absolutely right to hold this line. Hayes S. said, At last one royal has a backbone. Prince William said he would pull out of today's garter ceremony if Prince Andrew was allowed a public role. William unlike his father has the news to read the room. Kayla Adams added, Prince William telling the palace that he wasn't going to attend the order of the garter procession if Andrew went is just perfection. He's not a fan of him knows the public aren't either, very bold move that's paid off where Andrew can't be seen publicly. Well done William. Others said the decision proved Prince William should be the next king, and take to the throne rather than his father. Eden said, Prince William well done. You have done the right thing regarding Prince Andrew. I know he is family, but one day you will be king. And this country needs a king to make the right decisions for our country. And you have shown you stand by the people. I hope you keep up it up. Misty tweeted. I don't know if it's true Prince William issued an ultimatum that he would not appear at the garter ceremony of Andrew did. But if he did, he's exactly the king of king we need. He can read the room. Roxanne added, I wish William was the next king. Him and Catherine would make a wonderful team. As the Prince of Wales, Duke of Cambridge and other senior royals processed through the grounds of Windsor Castle for a church service commemorating the Order of the Garter on Monday, Andrew stayed behind closed doors. A version of the Order of Service for the St. George Chapel service named Andrew as being part of the Garter Knights while another distributed to the public he was omitted. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty Magazine, said, 
clearly it was the intention he would be there, as he does feature in one of the lists, so it's not a media invention he was going to be there, until recently that was the intention. Interesting that the family should need to intervene on something like this and to pull him back but clearly that's what it takes. Mr. Little speculated the events of Garter Day may cause Andrew to reassess his future and how impossible it is for him to return as a working member of the royal family. He said about the move to remove Andrew from public view. I think the decision they've made is a sensible one, I think they're fully aware of the public's opinion of the Duke of York's conduct and that this is very much a damage limitation exercise on behalf of senior members of his family. The Queen had signaled her support for Andrew, rumored to be her favorite child, by arriving with him for the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service in March. Andrew provided a steady arm for the Queen as she walked into Westminster Abbey to remember the life of her husband, a few weeks after he reached a multi-million pound out-of-court settlement in a civil sexual assault case, which was not an admission of guilt. He has repeatedly denied the claims. But there has been speculation senior members of the royal family did not approve of his appearance and it appears the Queen has conceded to their views regarding Garter Day staged at Windsor Castle.